the problem is a family has two children question 1 it is given that at least one of them is a boy what is the probability that both of them are boys okay now you can do it two ways you can do it with the limited sample space the shrunk sample space what is the shrunk sample space at least one of them is a boy okay f becomes at least one boy so 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 what is that that is b g g b sorry g b and b b and e is both boys which is b b now i want probability of e both boys such that it is given that where it is given that one of them is a boy that will be nothing but n e intersection f upon n f now e intersection f is how much e intersection f is b b so that is that is 1 upon 3 straight away either this or as i had said we can work on the original sample space hmm? so let the originals so 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 this is one of the ways of working on the shrunk sample space okay so so this i call working on shrunk sample space this is shrunk sample space if you do not want to work on the shrunk you 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 work on the original sample space okay original sample space what is the original sample space s is g g b g g b and b b okay and and what is the what is e e is obviously b b and f b g g b b b now you find out their probability e intersection f is b b what is the probability of what is the probability of e intersection f that is 1 upon 4 okay what is the probability of f it is 3 by 4 so you will get probability of e such that f is equal to probability of e intersection f upon probability of f so that is equal to is equal to 1 by 4 divided by 3 by 4 which is 1 by 3 okay and you should know both the methods okay you should understand both the methods hmm? at times this becomes handy it gives you an intuitive sort of answer immediately right next example do example 5 